What's going on YouTube? It's Death Hog, and we're going to be talking about some of the, actually just one of the Call of Duty Ghost leaked achievements, trophies, whatever you want to call them. I have no idea what they're called on Wii, if they even exist on Wii. But today, yeah, that's what we're going to be talking about. So let's get right into it. One of the trophies was leaked. It was called Safeguard. Get to round 20 on Safeguard. And Safeguard was already, uh, it's going to be like the new survival mode, but, oh, sorry probably a lot different than the survival mode that we all came to know in Modern Warfare 3 that had a lot of like camping spots I mean I had a lot of fun playing it. I don't know about everybody else but I had a lot of fun playing survival mode but now it's called safeguard so you're either defending someone something or maybe that just means defending yourself but hopefully they change this to now it's four player because that two player thing was just stupid like you could only, like, survive mode made zero sense. Like, there's two of you, they can't extract you. Like, you, you spawn in, the, like, you get the quote, team, uh, extracts cannot be provided at this time. Hold down. But yet, you could, we have an AC 130 UAV, we have helicopters that can come and help us and drop off troops, but you can't pick us up. It's Infinity Ward logic it worked right there. Yeah, so now safeguard is probably you're defending like an objective. Maybe they got the domination ob objectives. You gotta defend those. That honestly really wouldn't have been fun. Maybe you got like a s maybe it's like hard point. Uh, probably yeah, kind of like hard point maybe where there's a point on the map you gotta go defend, and if they take that point. Or maybe it'd be like war. That would be awesome. Like the world at war game mode war. Maybe it's like that, but there's like millions of people, and you gotta like you can't win. Like you gotta just keep defending, and they'll just keep pushing back. So like you'll be like at the edge of the map, and they'll be running into the map, and they'll just keep pushing, and just keep try they'll just keep pushing you back. So if you die, you respawn at the back of the map. So, uh, it's kind of like, uh, Man vs. Machine, Team Fortress 2. Yeah, you'll respawn to the back of the map, and you'll have the opportunity just to run back there and wreck some stuff, see if you could just push them back. But if they get all the way to the back and maybe take the last base, you'll lose. That, that would be, uh, that would be a pretty interesting idea. I would love to see that in a Call of Duty game. Maybe you could buy, like, upgrades and stuff. That would, that would be pretty cool. But maybe if you go down, you probably lose all your stuff. That would probably make it a lot more balanced because if you have an instant respawn, and maybe you have to wait like 30 second respawn, and then you'll get all your stuff, or at least partial amount of your stuff. But yeah, survival mode needed a lot more stuff to even like be a f to be a transit. Tra tra actually, transit was good to be like a low level zombie map. They needed so much more stuff. They needed more attachments. Maybe even you, uh, pack a punch. Like maybe they could have like you buy a camo or something. Now that would be interesting. Yeah, they only had like a few attachments. They get some perks, like stuff like that that keeps the game fresh. Like different camos. Maybe you could buy retic reptiles, reticles. I don't know what they're called. Like some sort of new perk system that you could get, similar to like Juggernaut and stuff like that. Instead of using the multiplayer perks, I mean, that's just super lazy. And, yeah, maybe some exclusive guns, some exclusive attachments. Like, I would love to see maybe like the AKU from Modern Warfare 3 make a return in whatever this game was called, I forgot. I mean, yeah, that would be, that would probably make it a low level zombie map at the least. As long as it's fun, I'll play it, but if it's not that fun, as I, I'm nothing's as good as zombies. If anyone just wants to see how close to zombies they could possibly get. In my opinion, I think that Treyarch and Infinity Ward should just get together on or Infinity Ward can make the multiplayer and Treyarch can just put zombies in an Infinity Ward game because in Modern Warfare 3 Treyarch did make a good portion of it because Infinity Ward split up and they got like Raven software and uh I don't know, like Insomniac or something, some company, and then they needed help, so Treyarch helped them, the, like, other Call of Duty company, but I would love to see, like, Modern Warfare 3 zombie mode. I know it was a mod for COD 4, and it would be really interesting to see what would 
Infinity War do with zombies. Actually, no. Treyarch would just continue just in the next game. Instead of waiting two years to find out what happens, they would just put out, like, zombie DLC in Call of Duty Ghost. That would be... That would make it one of the best Call of Duty. So, like, we don't have to keep waiting for zombie maps. And it would probably make a lot of sense, but I, obviously that's not going to happen. Yeah, so Infinity Ward needs to really work on that survival mode. See what they can do there. So, yeah, so if Infinity Ward does that, it would be pretty cool. But I would love to see some exclusive maps alongside the multiplayer maps. I wouldn't want to just see one or the other because it would just be dragging, like, oh, man, we only got these three maps to play on. Because they're obviously not going to go develop 25 maps just for that mode. You might get, like, four if they're going to custom make maps. That would be pointless. So maybe you have all the multiplayer maps and then some exclusive maps. That would be pretty cool. Maybe you could even create your own. No, that would never happen. That would never happen. <laughs> Actually, maybe with the next-gen systems, you could possibly create your own. But that would that's very out there. Yeah, so a lot of that cool stuff could possibly be incorporated into the next Call of Duty. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like. Don't forget to deep fry that like button. Subscribe. Favorite. I will see you guys in the next video. Sorry about the no videos being posted. I've been playing GTA. i actually been sick Monday, Tuesday. This is being uh, uh, posted on Wednesday. And I've just been catching up at high school and stuff. And there's a lot of good stuff coming. I Occupation ended, but we're getting a new machinima in Little Big Planet 2. Uh... More details will be revealed this weekend, so look forward to that, guys. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be similar to, like, a mix of, like, a game show, like, design challenge. It's pretty cool. Just, uh, I, I love it, and I think everyone else is going to love it. It's insane. We have an amazing cast. A uh, few people have... Uh, few people you might remember some new guys so remember to keep checking back i will see you guys in the next video don't forget to hit that like button i'm uh, death hog and i'm out peace